welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to do another show, obviously, the Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Central show. I also do Monday at noon Central. I will tell you now, um, I will be taking callers. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you're on YouTube, you can post your question in the chat and I'll be happy to answer it. Hey there, everybody. So um, typically at the beginning of the show, I do a few announcements. I do the names, I do the channeling and or songs. So I'm gonna start right away tonight with names because that's what they are wanting me to do. But, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you, um, in my TikToks or in my, yeah, I record them on TikTok and then I put them every place else that I can remember to. Um, <clears throat> a lot of messages have been coming through and I try to keep them all at 60 seconds. So whatever I can get in in that 60 seconds, I definitely do. So, um, but they've been, some of them have been channeled messages. Some of them have been messages from loved ones with specific names in them. So if you are interested and some, and obviously the clearings and healings, if you're interested in any of that, you can go to TikTok, they're on YouTube shorts and I do put them on Facebook, but Facebook only keeps them up for a little bit of time. Um, so TikTok or um, face, uh, TikTok or YouTube are the best places for that. Um, let's see, names. Okay, Ju Ju the first name. Okay, we're going to start with names. This could be your name, their name, or uh, somebody you know, uh, like a family member's name. Um, Jules or Jillian, Julian, Jillian, I get, it's Jules, Jillian, Julian. Those are all coming through at once. Those could be three different people or one person. Jeffrey, oh, Monaco. Yep, no, not Monica, Monaco. Um, Bills. And they're making sure I say the S at the end of it. They've even spelled it out in front of me, B-I-L-L-S. So whatever that is. Um, the next one is uh, Maria. The next one is Latka. Latka. The next name is um, Janine, Amber, and Felicia, or Felicia. Now I'm going to go to songs. This could be a song you know, a song they know, us, or um, a song that answers a question you've been having about life, love, or any area of your life. Okay, the first song is um, that I think it says, don't go, don't give up on us, baby. We can still come through or we can still something. Don't give up on us, baby. I don't even know how to sing that song, but that's a song. Um, <laughs> that song. <laughs> I don't know if I can get the beat. I can't get the beat to any of them. We'll be dancing in the dark, <laughs> that song. Oh my gosh. Um, the next song is, um, Liber they're just saying Liberace. Uh, I was gonna ask, is Liberace a musician? And then I said, don't, don't let people know you don't know that. <laughs> When I'm in this state, of, like my logical brain and my air brain are in two different places. Things I know normally when I'm here, 
this part of my brain isn't there okay folks <laughs> go easy on just go easy on me um Liber <laughs> liberace okay next um my pony oh that is my favorite that is, i'm going to tell you something that is like one of my favorite songs to dance you not so much to sing not so much to sing mm. i don't care if i can't move like i used to be able to move that song comes on that's it i love that song anybody else anybody else like that song comes on and and we are yeah okay next um give a little bit give a little bit of your love love to me <clears throat> that song and then the next song is live and let die no 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 okay i just felt like live and let die wouldn't be enough to let you know what it was. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do just one or two more songs. Um, I don't I don't know if this is a song. They just keep going, you say, you say, you say, you say, you say. I do not know if that's a song, but they have made a song into it. They have made it into a song. They've made a song out of it whatever okay and then the next song is um oh call me i uh i can hear call me call me call me anytime or call me any anytime call me that song that's on. Okay, if you if you if that little bit of horrific singing I gave you, if you know it, it's for you. If you if you picked up on it, it's for you. Okay, I'm going to go straight to callers. When I say your area code, um please have a question, one question or a um oh, a connection. A, that's what I do, been doing it for years. A question, a very specific question or a connection to a loved one. If you wanna connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and a uh, their relationship to you. And then if you have a specific question, get a specific, give me the specific question for your loved one. Otherwise, whatever comes through, comes through. Um, and you know what, Some guy, sometimes you guys, um, when I'm doing the show and I'm not, like, I try not to look into the camera, but if I'm looking into the camera and you think I'm doing like some kind of look on my face, I'm actually just focusing in on what people are saying. I'm focusing in on the energy and getting in there. And it might look like something, I don't know, it probably does, but that's just me. <laughs> it's just it's just me trying to focus, which it might explain why I was always getting in trouble in school because I have not such a good focusing face. <laughs> I just, that just occurred to me, by the way, that just like occurred to me. <laughs> and I will be going between um, callers on the call line, which is 845-277. 9131 and questions in the chat. Okay. I think we're good. I think I did. I think I did almost everything I'm supposed to do. Here we go. 760, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. My name's Lori. I'm calling from California. Hey Lori, how can I help you today? Well, I, um, I had four little kittens that I, I know it's a silly, well, it's not silly, it's bothering me. Four kittens, I, get, I surrendered them to the pound, and they were, you know, when I took them in, they were healthy, running around, playing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I called a follow-up, and they told me that they were sick, and they euthanized them. 
can you pick up anything you could see on that? I, I'm not sure. Do you want me to confirm that that's true, that they were sick? Or do you what? I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Well, anything you could pick up on it, I guess. I, I kind of don't want to believe I'm in denial. Yeah, I, I understand. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes when pets are born, at first, they can you know, just like people, they can seem very healthy, but um, I do feel like these kittens actually did get, there was something carried through is what I'm getting. There was something carried through. And even if they had, they'd been um, adopted, they, they would not had, if you, uh, five different sentences want to come out of my mouth at once. Um, it's, it's good that you surrendered them because it would have been horrific if you would have had to go through that process with them. But yes, they did get ill and it was something that was irreversible. Over But they, they really weren't sick. And they, I mean, I mean, they, they, I think they did it because I really didn't offer any money because I don't have it. I think that's what happened. Okay. Um, I, here's what I'm going to say, love. And uh, just please don't don't hang up until, because I'm going to mute you for a second. There's some squeaking in the background that I'm hearing. Um, to me personally, to me personally, I would rather feel like they were sick. They got sick and... That's why they were euthanized then. They got euthanized because I didn't have money. And I don't believe that anybody who works at any sort of humane society or shelter, I don't believe that they would take kittens that are just that, that new and do that. But aside from that, I know it's really difficult to understand that one day, Seemingly, they can be healthy and the next day they cannot. Um, but for what it's worth, if you want to believe me or you don't want to believe me, that's up to you. I don't, I don't get anything. I don't get prizes if you believe me or not. I make the same amount of money off of you either way. Zero. I'm getting, yes, they did get sick. And... Let me put it to you this way. Sick doesn't always mean all of a sudden their bodies went limp and they were behaving in a sickly way. Sick can mean they ran blood tests and other tests, fecal tests on them and found something again that was irreversible that Maybe they were still just as spunky the next day, but when you take pets in, they do a lot of tests on them um, because if they are going to adopt them out, they need to make sure they are adopting out healthy animals that will not get people sick also. And that would probably be something that came back in the blood work um, that that's what I'm getting. Again, whatever is most comfortable for you to believe, you it's your world you believe that. Okay, love, I don't want to, I'm not here to change anything. I can just give you the answer I'm getting. I hope that was helpful. And I'm really sorry that that did happen. Tanya. Tanya has a question. Do you see me leaving my marriage? Oh, you guys are not going to give me a break today, are you? Oh, Tanya, you get one question. So decide, do you want, do you see me leaving my marriage or connect with my mother-in-law? Which one? <laughs> Which one do you want me to do? Um, okay, Tanya, I'm going to tell you uh, what I tell everybody. I'm not the boss of anyone. I'm not even the boss of myself. Um, 
I'm going to take that off the screen. If I would have known that's what it said, I don't know that I, I would. I would put it up. So you want to see if I can connect with your mother-in-law, uh, Nora. Um, do you have a specific question for Nora? And please don't, don't she's your mother-in-law. Please don't let it be something about why is my husband so and so and such and such. Why? <laughs> no, seriously, do you have... <laughs> Do you have a specific question or just anything you want me to, anything at all, whatever comes through from Nora? And was Nora at one time, did she have darker hair? I'm not talking black, just darker um, because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a woman here with darker hair. It was shorter at one point and it uh, glasses on and off and colored, colored lips color lipstick she she wore lipstick okay uh, uh okay how did she pass yes she did okay so this we have your mother-in-law okay so how did she pass what what um i'll see if i can get that sometimes i can how long uh, no uh tanya can you tell me how long ago she passed um what did you pass from I'm going to tell you the first thing I hear is heart. Now, I am going to say this for you and everybody else listening. Sometimes when they say heart, you can you can literally get get other things because you're uh, because of your heart. I I hear heart. I hear um and uh, look, uh, you know, I'm not saying this is her. Um but I am going to say this. Oh, sorry everybody. I am going to say that she is having the time. She's okay. She's singing a song. She's bringing a song through. Um, I had the time of my life <laughs> and I do it all again. <laughs> the next part of that song that beat kicks in and you, you just want to go dun, 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 like you were all in like a 60s or an, I don't know when that song came out um, I have no idea um okay so I hear heart 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 I hear heart and I hear a second thing and I don't know if this is her or somebody else but I also hear stroke now what I'm going to say is uh, many times the heart can be many, many different things, including the second thing I heard. She did have a have to have a transplant a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. So even that. Okay. So that would be the confirmation that I need to know she's giving me the right answer. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm hearing. So I'm going to tell you. The next thing I'm hearing, Tanya, is valve failure. Um, I don't think there, it, it, like it, I just see like a, a valve like failing, like it's just like failing. And it would have been on this side and it would have been a lower valve. And that's that's what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. And are you going to leave your marriage? That's going to be completely up to you. And and the question for you is, um, how much more can you take, or how much longer can you take it? That's the that's what I'm getting for those two. I'm going to go to the next caller, um, and the next caller at six one zero six one zero. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. What's your Hi, name? Can you hear me? I can. What's your name and where are you calling from? Actually, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Sonia, how can I help you today? Yeah, actually, I've spoken to you. It was uh, maybe three weeks ago, and um, you probably don't remember. You talked to so many people. And uh, by the way, I want to give you an E for sing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a what? A 
are you getting a grade of E for singing? Oh, yeah. No, please don't singing. even give me that much. I, I should get a grade of F, like you failed for no. singing. Uh, the only no, thing I have. because you know the words. Oh. You know the words, and that's more than. Like, I love to sing karaoke, and then people go up there, and you wouldn't even believe they go making up words, you know? That has to do with the song. <laughs> It's okay. So, as long as people are enjoying okay. themselves. Okay, so love, what's your what's your question or your connection, love? Okay, so my question was that um at the time you had advised me um to uh because okay, my partner of eight years, right? Um she cheated on me and then she moved out. I think it was the second week in December, but she still had stuff here. But she always kept saying she was going to come back, whatever. But um, I just had less and less communication with her. And then I think it to you that I was got tired of seeing stuff she had laying around because I was in the process of fixing the house and you know, getting it ready to sell it because I wanted to move down to Florida. So I sent her the email right after I got the place. I never asked her anything, and you had advised me to whatever I do, put it in storage, make sure it's for one month and one month only. So I sent her an email with everything. She didn't respond, right? So then um, I sent her a text at her number, but then I sent her like um, like another text because I didn't know she switched numbers or whatever, and. I just say, hi, it's me, check your email. And she's like, okay. And she says, oh, I just read an email. I don't know what to say. I hope we could talk, be friends, maybe work things at some time. I don't know, but I guess you just want me to leave you alone. I'll take care of sorry. Sorry you have to schlep my stuff. Need to figure out dates. So I only give her a few dates. I give her four Saturdays in the month. Anyway, she agreed on, a on April 6th, and she's... I sign in the morning or she sign in the afternoon and that stuff is out of my name now. Okay, that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, excellent. I, know, I, says, I don't want any, I don't want any, huh? Excellent. Go ahead. Yeah, so I told her I don't want any money back, you know, just whatever. But she was shocked. <laughs> like, she took me to, you know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Because I didn't, I didn't ask her if I could do it. I just did it and told her what I did and what her option was. Yeah, and you know what? The fact uh, that that she was shocked tells you her arrogance. Because that's <laughs> arrogance to think that, you know, you would just, you know. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, love. Yeah. Do you think she's? I mean, I'm already going to, the house is going to be listed sometime in the in June, July. I already have a realtor and everything. Um, do you think she's going to try to reach back out to me? Is she even going to find out the house is listed? Because I'm not going to put a sign up front. It's just going to be, you know, with MLS. Do you think she'll want to reach out again or she'll find out it's listed? No, I, I okay. So what I'm getting and I'm going to... She could change her mind. I do feel like she could be, I hear the word creeping, um, meaning spying or watching. Um, will she reach out again? That's up in the air still if she's going to reach out. Don't, you're right not to do the sign. Um and even here's the thing, if she has, and this is just a personal, like you get to do you and what's most comfortable for you. Um, you could at this point, there's no more businesses, uh, no more business between the two of you. Everything is done. She has her stuff. She moved on. You're moving on. You could like block everything the best you can. And then uh, just if you, if something does come through, just don't respond. Remember, you don't owe anything in this case. And then the next thing I'm hearing is 
if she does find out and reach out to you, okay, yeah, she might. Um, don't just don't. I would say don't let her know what your plans are any of them and don't tell anyone who might tell her um okay because one of the things i hear is this oh but if we start over someplace new it'll be brand new for both of us and it will be better it's just oh, like no. all the She's excuses not going to Florida with me. yeah thank goodness um but I feel like you're doing really good. I feel like you have a really good head on your shoulders. I feel like you're really at a good solid place right now. And sometimes when when we think about people who have hurt us, we think they're gonna come back or we have communication of any kind. If we see that text, our feelings don't go to this happy place anymore because the last right. memory we have with them is of being hurt. So it takes us back to that hurt place again, like, ugh. Like, right. no, what, I, is I there really, another I dagger you need less. to put in me or what? So just block it and don't right. worry about it. Okay, love? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm excited for the next chapter. I mean, of course, the house has to sell. Um, yeah. And, you know, I need to find a place to live in Florida. Do you see things going well for me? Like, because it's, uh, you know, I've been looking at an apartment and stuff. I want something close to my family. Um, but I don't want, like, these big units with tons of people there. I would like something more on a smaller side. Yeah. And something temporary because my ultimate goal is to, to, to buy my house again. You know what I mean? I like having my own place, my own home. Yeah, okay. So, so do you, how do you see the apartment thing? Or the place to live for me going well. Okay, me. so here's what I would tell you. I'm gonna mute you, but stay on. Um, think I'm gonna finish answering your question though. Um, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Go and look on maybe Zillow or some other place, and you're gonna be surprised at what you find in houses, um, single family and uh like a duplex or a side by side in Florida. I was on there looking uh, this week and the number of foreclosures and the number of auctions, house auctions are kind of crazy. I wouldn't depend on a house auction. Most of those are bought by the bank for the price or less than the price of the auction in Florida. But the foreclosures or the just for sale um, if you have family there and they're handy, you might find something quite remarkable there. And uh, thank you so much for calling back and giving the update. I'm so happy for how everything is going with you. I'm going to go to the next question on the YouTube chat, which is, could I find out if my granddaughter is going to live with her parents or my husband and I? Thank you. Linda. Okay, I don't know when, I don't know where this is right now. Uh, she's going to end up with you. Um, she's going to end up with you and she's going to end up there very long term permanently. I don't know permanently. <clears throat> I see some back and forth. I see, but I see more with you. And a part of the reason being is, um, believe it or not, school districts schools safety uh neighborhood the the safety okay the safety of the neighborhood and schooling are two of the justifiable uh, reasons and i think this will be the, the parents actually saying yeah the schools are better so maybe you know this at least during the week, but I feel like she's, your granddaughter is going to be with you. Um, I don't know if it's going to be permanently. I don't feel like it'll be permanently. I just feel like it's a long road for them to get their, like, poop in a group. And I feel like 
I do feel like the mom or I do feel like there's just when I tap into the energy of her parents, I just get like kind of like this dramatic energy. And um, yeah, so love, I hope that's helpful. Please let me know that that's helpful. Um, I really do hope that's uh, that's very, very helpful for you, okay? If you have a question, you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And if you're watching on YouTube Live, if you're watching any place or listening any place, if you pop over to YouTube Live, you'll be able to ask a question in the comments. So I'm going back and forth. I did, did, you guys, did I do this? I don't know if I did six, seven, eight. I feel like I didn't. Let's find out. Six, seven, eight, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from Georgia. Hey there, how can I help you? I was just like a general reading. Okay, so for the time frame of the show, I give me an area of your life at least, love. My love life. Okay. Okay, so tell me, uh, I ask questions, I get answers, I confirm them with you just to make sure. Is there someone in your life right now? Do you have a partner right now? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I use, it's been about three or four weeks since I like seen my ex-husband, but no, I've just been talking to guys, okay. different people on the phone or whatever. Okay. I, I just kept hearing it's complicated. It's complicated. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, you have the opportunity right now it's up to you um what direction you go like there's three roads in front of you okay three roads one is um one of those roads is going back to what you just got out of the other the next road which is going for somebody you know these going for somebody who would be similar to what you just got out of not nothing serious just uh you know there you know that song i i need a roundaway girl they're saying a roundaway boy it would be a roundaway boy i'm not really sure you know i just keep hearing they're for the streets they're for the streets so the people you're talking to might not be the best option the third option however however uh, back up off all of that, wipe your hands clean of it, make yourself a list of what you really, really want. And then in two months, don't, don't mess with the mess, right? Don't mess with any of this mess. And in two months of really focusing on what you want and where you want to be, you're going to meet, a, a, you have the potential, the potential to meet a really good man somebody who is living a different type of life um then and that could just mean it doesn't necessarily mean it means in how they treat people they they're living he's living a different type of life in like the level of respect he has for women okay i see him being very very respectful of you and 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 people in general but he commands the same respect back this person doesn't play around when it comes to certain things especially if he's involved with a woman he's going to be very exact on what he expects and what he wants and that might take you off guard in the beginning but he is a good man he's a very good man He's, um, if I don't say so, if, if it's okay for me to say so, he's a very, um, he, okay, he's a God-fearing man. It doesn't mean he's a super duper religious person, meaning he believes in God, but he might not be pushing proverbs down your throat, so to say. I don't, I hope that's not offensive. I'm just channeling here, folks. Go easy on me. 
Um, but you, in two months, in two months. Um, so if if you just sit back and say, okay, it's time for me to get really serious and to know this is the biggest thing. If you could have, and this is for all of us, if you could have anything you want in a man, make that list. Don't make the list according to what you think is available or what you think is possible or based on just what you see out here in these streets because these streets be having wild animals in them and our man is not in this streets our man is in a home and he's at work okay our man is not in the street so don't compare him to the streets okay 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 so make that list and go from there because what we put out what we think is possible is what gets brought back to us okay love Okay. Excellent. Thank I, you. You're welcome. I hope that was helpful, sweetie. I really do hope that was helpful. It was. Good. It really was. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. And your your Nana says hi, just on that note, okay? Your Nana says hi. Okay. Okay. You take care, my love. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Going to the next question in the chat um, is, I believe, Cisco. Cisco wants to know, um, is there a spiritual message for me I need to know? Cisco, do you want this in a certain area of your life? Usually I have, a, so for those of you who are new, um, if you uh, want to connect with a loved one, I just need their first, a loved one on the other side, I need their first name and their um, relationship to you and uh, any question you have for them. But if you're asking just a question, if, if you have a very specific area or a specific uh, question, it, it lets me get you what you need a little bit faster okay so cisco you want to know if there's a spiritual message all the messages uh, the first thing they're saying is all the messages are spiritual because they all come from spirit okay cisco you are supposed to um i i'm hearing a song um it's like you're supposed to stand up and speak, like speak your truth, stand up and speak your truth. Um, be brave in the arena, if you will, is what I'm hearing. Don't, uh, and don't fall back. Don't like, don't fall back onto what isn't working. Now you are, Cisco, you are going to know better than anybody else what that means. Um, so that would be the message that I'm getting for you um, to speak your truth. And if this is, so I scrolled down and I saw it was about your love life. I'm going to tell you this. If this message probably does pertain to your love life, it means either speak your truth in what what you're in or speak your truth in what you want, speak your truth in what you want, just speak your truth in what you want. And here's what I'm going to say for what it's worth. Every, everybody, everybody, you know, gets a shot at being hurt in love. Most people do. Even if you're in a long-term relationship, things happen that are unpleasant and, um, you know, we're doing the best we can to do the best we can in relationships. And women can, most women can still, after being either betrayed or hurt or whatever, still once they're with a man, they meet a man or a new partner, they get into that relationship and they can still um, end up being vulnerable. Not in a way that that is negative, but being vulnerable and open to 
that love that the person gives to them. It might take a moment to get them get them to that point of trust, but they will eventually be vulnerable where sometimes with men, they will never let that guard down again, but they expect a woman to jump through everything um, and prove and prove and prove and prove themselves while they're, you know, still guarded and the woman's vulnerable and she's jumping hoops and doing all of this. So, and they're not telling the woman, they're not expressing, they're not letting themselves be vulnerable. And I think uh, Cisco, <laughs> there is your, that, that, that is, if that makes sense, God, I hope that makes sense for you, Cisco, because that is what I have for you. Um, uh i i hope i hope that that makes sense for you um cisco um linda did i miss you uh, okay i'm gonna no i didn't okay i'm gonna go did i do 850 everybody i we're about to find out if i did eight eight five zero thank you for the question cisco i'm gonna go to Every time I think I, you know, I'm doing the show and I think, oh my God, I'm making such good time. And then I look at the time and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have that much time left over. Don't go anywhere, folks. Folks, I'm going to get through as many people as I can. 850. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, it's Darlene and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Darlene, how can I help you? Well, I went through a, a breakup, and um, so things are just really fresh and new, and and I'm been really kind of down and out and feeling really blah, and it's like you almost don't know what to do next, you know, and what's to come next, and you know what's going to be down the road, you know, all the questions that run through your head. But there is one thing that I'm kind of worried about is my finances. I think most people do when they when they separate. Um, where I live at, the owner let me do a run and drop off some parts and then pick them up, and I made a little extra money. So I'm hoping and praying that maybe he can do that once a month. You see him helping me out, trying to make a little bit of extra money on the side? Yes. Okay, so a couple of things. I'm sorry for what you're going through. Anybody going through hurt, pain, suffering, let's clear, heal, release all the hurt, pain, and suffering, you guys. If you're new, I feel these. When I'm doing these clearings, I feel it coming up and out, and it does affect me, as you can tell. You may feel it, you may not. If you don't feel it, it doesn't mean it's not working, and you can come back to this show or any, I think Monday show was just full of clearings. But let's all hurt pain, suffering, let's heal, clear, release that, no matter what it's from. Um, and we have layers of that, so let's pull it, you know, as many layers as we can as we can at once. Okay, uh, yes, I do feel like your landlord will be helpful. I also feel like you have to get up, stand up, get out, go get out of your comfort zone and do new things. I feel like you can, you can reach out to one, maybe two other people that might have you do a little of this or that to help you out also and to um, help you to, to not only make it, but get a little bit ahead of the game. I do feel like there are gonna be more resources coming in, but again, you have to get up and get out and get out of your comfort zone and do uh, do do that, find, find that, okay? The next thing is that you are going to be meeting somebody new, and I feel like this someone new is coming in in June between now and June, get yourself so solid that you don't need somebody that if they come in, it's a benefit and don't let them shack up. That's the words I'm hearing. I'm sorry. Um, let them- Don't let them what? Move in with you, shack up. Don't let them shack up. Don't let them move in with you for like a good three to, like for a good bit of time. I, I, I was gonna say three to six months, but I'm getting, I in three I wouldn't I don't think I should say not say this but it would take longer than that 
for me to let somebody, well, it, it's whatever, but don't let somebody, when you meet someone, don't let them move in so quick. Make sure you know them really good. This is a brand new person. You do not know them from the past. Okay. Don't, don't, it's not anyone coming from the past. If you just hold on, somebody brand spanking new will come in. Okay. Okay. Well, how am I going to meet them? Well, you know what? That's another call. I already answered two questions for you and I try to keep it within that limit. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for that. But like they said, get up, get out, get out of your comfort zone, reach out, see who else you can do things for and financially you'll be good. And then maybe you meet somebody that way. I don't know, but it's not until June because you have to get yourself solid before you can get to this new person. Um, but I'll be back Monday. So if you want to call in and ask how you're going to meet your new person on Monday, I would love to answer that for you. Um, and I know you guys, I'm, I'm not, I know, especially when you're on the phone and I answer one question, it does lead to another question and another question and another question. And that's why I do private sessions or you can, you know, do many, 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 um, sessions. I mean, many questions on the calls, just not all in one day. Okay. Uh, okay. Le hey, Amy. Amy, how are you? Uh, how are you, Amy? Thanks for being here tonight and helping out. Okay. I'm trying to say the next name, Dakleta. Greetings, everyone. Great. Uh, loves truly transformative. It is. Uh, okay. I, I thought there was a question. Maybe not. Uh, okay. Let's go to the next caller. I'm going to, if I missed your question in the chat, please repost it and I'll get to it as soon as I can. I'm going to go to 312. 312, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, love. My name is Marquis. I called you once before, and I'm calling from Chicago. Excellent. So thank you for taking my call tonight. I'm so grateful. Um, I have a career question, so I've been doing lots of interviews, but I'm wondering when's, when is, when will one of these interviews lead, lead to an offer? Um, it's so many things going on at once, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready for this job to be closed so I can move on to something else. So that's my question. <clears throat> So you have a very strong and powerful person guide because I want to like stand up and like, I just need to be <laughs> straight and be like thundering my voice right now. Um, and the first thing I hear is tomorrow, whoever this is, you have a very powerful force with you a good force a force for good <laughs> um of course of course thank god. um thank god. <laughs> yes i hear tomorrow and what i'm hearing is the journey may have been long but it will be worth it because we can't have just any old thing going on here um exactly i it, agree i agree and what here's what happens when we asked for the next guy to be the guy the ever after guy. And when we ask for the job to be A, B, and C, it might take a minute to get A, B, and C, but they're, they're bringing it yeah. right. They're bringing it. So I hear tomorrow. Okay. Now tomorrow might mean a couple of different things. I'm going to do the rundown. Either you find the job tomorrow, you hear okay. from the job tomorrow, or you, something's going to come through tomorrow. And when they say tomorrow, it doesn't mean exactly tomorrow it means it means it's really close it's like bumping you already they're showing me like okay. bumper cars touching i do feel like it is a high level position and you will be very happy with it i do feel like um your expectations are in line however don't let um even how do i say this um Go in humble, but 
Okay. The way I, I need to say this is even though it's a higher, it's, it's a good position, it's a high level position, the way they're saying it, it's a position you'll really love. Um, but you know, sometimes how we can get our girl on just a little too much. I don't know. I think you know what that means. Otherwise, <laughs> they wouldn't have had me say it to you. But you know how we can be walking in like, I got this. I know it's mine. I got my girl right. on. Like, whatever that is for you, like that, that there's a difference between confidence and cocky. There's a difference between um, confidence and arrogance. Yeah. And they're saying, have that sure. confidence with humility walk in like that and they are going to be so happy for that um and yeah okay. and when and when you get this don't have really super high expectations that everything is going to be laid out because it is going to be a little you know usually when companies are hiring it means they just broke up they they had to let someone go. So just keep that in mind. I feel like, you know, okay. it is what it is, but you're gonna handle it well because you have very powerful energy with you and um, tomorrow. So it, get on tomorrow and just look and watch your email, check your junk mail, all the all the things, okay? okay. Excellent. Can I, I ask will, you? Thank you so much for your time. Marquis, what do, what type of work are you looking for? Well, I'm in the creative field. I have an MBA in marketing, and so it will be marketing and communication. But I love to be of service, so I've applied to a lot of sort of uh, non for profit or, or yeah. social uh, oh enterprise gosh. slash leadership. Yeah. Okay. Positions. There's so a, I hope it, one of those come through. Yeah. Because, and this yeah. is what I was just going to say two things. Number one, um, here's one thing that I'm getting two things. Okay. And this is, this is a little bit longer than I would have typically, but I don't care. Um, first the nonprofit, not for profit okay. things, huge stick with that. You're going to find okay. something with them. You might, that's a strong field, but there are other fields also. And then think the, the next thing is if you were going to start your own company and do contract work or, you know, peace, yeah. I don't start that now and do it even uh, part time kind of, I feel like you may even have yeah. the opportunity to get a contract with a company. It might not be, but it, but then you can get another and another and another and another. And I feel like there's right. going to be yeah, some, that's the goal. That's yeah. The goal. So yeah. if that's the goal, I I just hear that song. What are you waiting for? I can't sing it. We all know. Okay, but that's that that's the song yeah. I hear. So start. Maybe that's what they mean by tomorrow. Um, get start that now. Start it now. Okay. Like okay. like because you will get get those things, and you can market yourself in three ways: a small business, um, pro like you're. You're, you're the small business, like what's that word for the best for small business and the best for big business. So market yourself in those, those two ways and then the, helping the, the middle sized business too. And then also market yourself to help people in certain areas, especially with creative inventors. And you're gonna be amazed at what comes back to you, okay? Just get your pricing together and okay. make a run for it, okay? Oh, I will, thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs> thank you so, so much for, for calling in. I'm so grateful I could help you this evening. And uh, call back whenever you need, okay, love? I will, God bless. God bless, love. Okie dokie, I, Amy May, happy birthday. We need to do a birthday dinner for you now. We definitely need to do a birthday dinner, 100%, 100%. Everybody, it's Amy May's, uh, it was Amy May's birthday. Um, so happy birthday, Amy May. I am going to go to, I believe it's 780 is next, 780. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, Jay. 
My pleasure. How have you been? Been pretty good. I was going to call you about a month ago. I had my birthday on the same day as a Monday, so I was going like, ah, geez, I can't, I can't make it, you know, to the Monday uh, show. But uh, Wednesdays, uh, yeah, it's trying to get home in time. So for sure, but thanks for taking my call. Absolutely, absolutely. How can I help you today? Sure. Basically, I wanted to talk about maybe my loved one, maybe my mom, Yumi for any special birthday message that I had about a month ago, which is yeah, about a month ago today, actually. So just wondered about that. Thank you. Okay, Jay, I hear relocation. Have you been thinking about relocating? Uh, not really, but um, okay. I don't know, is it in the plans? I'm not sure, but okay. Sometimes messages are predictions that are coming in. Remember, you have free will, free choice. You can decide when the time comes. If this comes up, one of the biggest things I'm hearing for you is that there may be a relocation in your future. Um, I feel like something might happen or you might hear about something in approximately a month and then within or around the six month mark, something else might come in that might help you decide if there's a relocation coming in. Uh, a happy birthday, of course. And then um, uh, she's saying she loves you. She loves you. She loves you. And she wants you to know um, she's singing that song. You are always on my mind. You are always on my mind, meaning she's she's always with you. Like it, there's that connection there. And Jay, I hope that was very, very helpful for you. I really hope that that was very helpful for you. Yeah, it wasn't just real, real location. I don't know about that because it's very expensive to move right now. I don't do anything like that. So well, here's what I'm going to I'm going to just um, keep listening to the show, Jay. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes a relocation is a good thing. Sometimes we hear about something for, I'm going to give you a couple for examples. Maybe you hear about somebody who says, hey, I have this place and do you know anybody? Or you meet somebody and you end up relocating that way. Um, it's not always a negative thing. And remember, just because the idea comes for relocation doesn't mean you're going to take it, okay? They're just letting you know something might come in and it might be about a relocation. And that would be something that you have the choice to do or not do when the time comes. Okay, sweetie. I hope that was very, very helpful for you. Amy had her birthday this past Monday and she wants to know, does my mom want to share anything with me? Um, the first thing... <laughs> 90 seconds. Oh, gosh, Amy, she's saying that she, um, oh, there's so many things. I can't, I'm now that I heard the 90 second thing, I'm, I'm like freaking out and wasting time doing this. So, th the biggest thing is, uh, tell her I love her, tell her there's something big coming in for her. Now, when they say something big, it could be a dream, it could be an epiphany, it could be something spiritual, not necessarily something physical and 60 seconds. she wants you to know that she's been um so, like sleeping in sleeping with you and then the song um whose boots have you whose bed have your boots been under that song okay is coming through for you and that's when she was saying that she's she's uh she also sp sleeps with you okay that's it. I'm trying to go very quickly here. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here this evening. I'm so grateful that each and every one of you are here today.